Look at that, a mini Commodore 128 screen. The $165 Cloner Alliance Viewlight AV is a small, portable, and easy to use device designed to convert analog VHS, camcorder, radio, cassette, and albums into digital files. It'll even capture eight track tapes if that's your jam. Viewlight AV weighs in at a paltry 6.5 ounces and measures in at a tiny 6.2 by 2.8 by 1.1 inches. Now, the folks over at Cloner Alliance know I love my Cloner Alliance Box Pro to capture retro computing content and asked me to try this new device. Cloner Alliance advertises the Viewlight AV as a retro gaming capture device for systems such as the NES, Sega, and even the PlayStation 1. But I want to see how well it will work with our beloved retro computers. In full disclosure, Cloner Alliance sent this device to me with no requirements. They simply asked me to see if this unit works to capture retro computing content and then share my findings with you. Inside the box, you will find the Viewlight AV unit, a getting started guide, a remote control, an RCA to RCA cable, a 90 degree HDMI adapter, a USB-C to B data and power cable, a three and a half millimeter stereo to three and a half millimeter stereo TRS audio cable and a five volt power brick. Capturing retro computer content is all about the connectors. The Viewlight AV includes an RCA composite with the traditional yellow, red, and white connections, S-Video, two three and a half millimeter TRS audio jacks and auxiliary in and out, a 5 volt 1 amp and or a PC USB-C data port and an HDMI out with up to 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second. We'll look at each of these connectors a little bit later. And today my trusty Commodore 128 will serve up the retro computing goodness that we will display and capture on the Viewlight AV. Now the C128 uses a 5 pin DIN connector for video. I'll need an adapter. Wait a minute. Hold on. There we go. This five pin DIN to RCA audio cable from Amazon is just the trick. And by the way, you'll find all the links you need down in the video description below. For other retro computers other than the Commodore brand, you're gonna to wanna to use a similar composite to RCA or S video adapter if you're looking for a clearer image. Composite is a more common standard found on retro computers, so I'm gonna pass over the S video. With all the connections made, turn on the Viewlight AV using the power button followed by the computer. If everything is connected correctly, you'll see the computer screen on the built-in 3-inch 640 by 480 monitor. And here's the first advantage of the Viewlight AV. It has a small readable built-in monitor, but if you need a larger screen, you have HDMI out. Using the HDMI out deactivates the built-in three inch monitor, so no dual screen mode here. The on-device LED indicates an external monitor is connected. This HDMI out capability makes the Viewlight AV the perfect device to connect your retro computer to a modern display. As you can see, the HDMI out quality is quite good for analog video. Cloner Alliance says the following internal analog to digital conversion technologies enhance image and audio quality. But remember, an external monitor is not required to capture video. The Viewlight AV is a standalone capture device. There's no internal storage on the Viewlight AV. You need to bring your own eight terabyte or less USB drive, external hard drive, or SD card. They must be formatted in FAT32, NTFS, XFAT, MBR, or GPT. You can only capture video to one media at a time. The Viewlight AV converts video to .mp4 files using the H.264 format in either NTSC up to 920 by 1080 at 30, or PAL up to 1920 by 1080 at 25. Now this is a plus for retro computing fans around the globe. The Viewlight AV converts audio to MP3. You can change the bitrate options for both video and audio using the on-screen menu. Here's a surprise. The Viewlight AV includes a tiny internal speaker to monitor the audio. 
The audio is pretty tinny, but it works in a pinch and is a convenient way to test audio out from a retro computer. I also like that JPEG screen captures are a breeze using the camera button on either the device or the remote. Now, there are two ways to transfer media from the Viewlight AV to your computer. The first option is to simply remove the device, plug it into your Mac, Linux, or Windows PC, and drag the content over. Now, for SD cards, the Viewlight AV does something extra. Connect the Viewlight AV to a PC using the included cable. Select TF Transfer Mode using the on-screen menu. The SD card will mount on the host computer. This does not work for USB storage connected to the device, only the SD card. Let's talk about these controls. The on-device buttons, while mushy, are large for a device so small, and they're easy to use. I had no problems figuring out immediately the function of each control and how to navigate the on-screen menu. And the Viewlight AV is more than a recorder. You can also use it to play back video, making it a handy digital video player on the go. Just connect it to your TV monitor, use the included remote control, and watch your favorite video. There's something different for you, but still with a touch of modern and while the physical buttons imply recording simplicity, the on-screen menus provide experts with more granular options. I am not going to cover every option in this video, but as you can see, the options are extensive and should fit your needs. I recommend you review every menu option, and then if you have questions, check out the excellent PDF user's guide. Kind of on a sidebar here, the Cloner Alliance devices are firmware upgradable, but in my experience using the Box Pro, you won't find the firmware on their website. The only way you can get upgrades is if you have problems and you reach out to their technical support. All right, enough about the specifications. How do I use the device to capture a Commodore 64 game? First step, connect the Commodore 128 to the Viewlight AV. Plug in a joystick. Insert the Kung Fu Flash cartridge. Turn on the Commodore 128. Press the record button on the device or remote. Select a game from the Kung Fu Flash. In this case, it's Zaxxon. Play away. As you're playing, to take a screenshot, press the camera button on the device or remote. It gets a little tricky when you have a joystick in your hand, but you'll, you'll figure it out or have somebody else do it for you. Stop the recording and wait for the flashing LED to stop. If you don't do this and eject the media too quickly, you will not have video. Turn off the Viewlight AV. Not required, but it's good practice to do that. Remove the storage device and move over to the computer. Once you have access to the media, simply view it or drag and drop it to your computer for later use. It's really that easy. And here's the recorded video. and a few snapshots of my Zaxxon gameplay directly from the Viewlight AV without any image manipulation. And speaking of image manipulation, Clutter Alliance provides access to two software applications once you register your device's serial number. The first software is the helper software, which according to the box and the manual is only available for Windows, but when you go to the website, you'll find that they also have a Mac version. And it's a video and recording live stream application that I am not going to cover in this video since I use my ATEM Mini Extreme ISO for live streaming and recording. But the second piece of software they include is something that is a little more interesting, and it is the Cloner Alliance AI Video Enhancer. Now, this one is only available for Windows. It uses advanced AI technology to dramatically enhance the quality of your videos. And because the AI Video Enhancer software should be a useful tool for retro computing, I did run a few samples on my Lenovo Windows laptop. Here's some original footage captured with a side-by-side -side comparison after AI Video Enhancer is applied. Here's the game Zaxxon upscaled. I decided to have some fun and here's an original quality Commodore commercial I found on YouTube that I also upscaled. Why buy just a video game from Atari or in television? Invest in the wonder computer of the 1980s for under $300, the Commodore VIC-20. Why buy just a video game from Atari or Intellivision? 
Invest in the wonder computer of the 1980s for under $300. The Commodore VIC-20. I'll let you be the final judge. Let me know in the comments below if you see a significant difference and if this software, if you think this software is a valuable addition to your purchase of the Cloner Alliance ViewLite AV. I'll keep using the Cloner Alliance AV. It's Portability makes it a great addition to my setup and makes it a really handy sidekick to the Cloner Alliance Box Pro. If you want more information on this device, stick around. I have a link to one of my videos. Now, you might be interested in how do these two devices compare. Let me know in the comments below if this is a video you want to see. You can also drop comments with questions you have about the ViewLite AV. Want your own ViewLight AV? Check out the link down below. And if you found this video valuable, please hit that thanks button below. And remember, you can support the channel. Again, all those links are down below. Hey, I'll catch you next time with more great retro computing content. I've got some really cool stuff on the way, so subscribe and be on the lookout for my live streams. They are a blast, and the way you interact with me and the entire and fabulous Retro Combs community. That concludes this video. Retro Combs out. <laughs>